Hi guys, hope everybody is doing well this morning. Just come back from the car boot. It was the smallest one I've ever been to. There was one car boot next to it what had four stalls on. I didn't even bother to go on it. That's how small, because it just looked like it had clothes. Um, but I did come back with some bits. Pretty much everything I bought, apart from this little bit, it was off dealers. Um, but anyway, it was some interesting items. So let's get into it. Um, so the first thing i bought was off this chap it was this rather interesting looking stamp um not sure if you guys can work out what that says that says price i think but other than that i can't work it out but it's a nice stamp i thought it looked nice for instagram so i bought it i thought it filled gaps i got um a little um it's ca kind of a thin sort of um clamp but it's, I don't know, it's kind of a nice one. I've got a few of these. I shouldn't have really bought it, but I thought this was kind of a nice looking one. So I thought, hmm, I'll give that a go. Um, I got this kind of really interesting looking screwdriver. It looks like it's had ridges, but it's been sanded. I just kind of like that. So I think it's got quite a nice look to it. So I grabbed that. We got a little brass glass cutter with the little, um, you know, balls and that, finials or whatever. And then obviously you can break the glass, you've got the different sizes. Um, kind of like that, that'll look nice. And then I really like this little brass sort of square nut wrench. Um, it's like tapered and it's got a couple of rings. So he was a dealer. Um, he wanted eight quid for that. But in the end, I give him £10 for all five, which I think is reasonable. So was that, I thought, yeah, £10 for five. So it basically was £2 across the board for each item. £10 the five. Um, I got these tongs, brass tongs. Um, they are brass and you can see they're going a bit green there. Um, the guy asked £2. I thought, Do you know what, that's reasonable actually. I thought he was going to say a tenner or a five or so. I gave him the £2 for that. I didn't even say a pound, which is very unlike me. We've got... Um, this is a set of Allen keys. It's got DP Workshop, something like that. The reason why I bought those, it said snap-on tools, metric. So I thought, hmm. So I grabbed that. I grabbed this little wooden sort of corkscrewy, awly thing. Um, thought that was kind of cute. And this blue plastic screwdriver. Um, I said, how much for the three, mate? He said a pound. So 33 pence or about... 40 cents an item so i thought that was okay and um, then when i was paying the guy i looked down and i saw that and i thought i'm sure that's one of those um armored cable knives for an electrician um and he said how much is it said 50p so one pound 50 for those i think that was a bit of a bargain um now this one is a pipe imperial pipe wrench tool um and what's good about it, it's a Williams, I don't know if you can see there, J Williams and Co, New, is it New York? And it says it's a Vulcan number 30. Um, I, th I think it's missing something. It, it doesn't seem like it's long enough to do much damage. And I don't know what, I don't, I don't really understand it, to be honest. But, but um, I saw it last time and I mentioned it to Jim and he went, hmm. <sighs> I would have bought that. I collect those. Oh, I would have bought that. Oh. So I said, if I see it next time, I'll buy it for you, Jim. So it cost a pound. So Jim, you owe me a pound. So that will go in your bucket for when I send it. I think it's cheap at a pound. It's probably worth a tenner. So that's for Jimbo. For his, oh. So I got it for you, Jim. So I do as I say I do. Um, we've got here a, a really cool fast trim now i'm there's a there's a i think it's a fuller um um knife and it looks just like that um in america but this one says made in england rather dirty but that is a lovely knife I said how much are your knives mate he went, oh three quid i went it's not a stanley he went oh, two quid i said it's an off-brand look he went oh a pound then so i went oh go on then i said how much is that he went three quid it's a quick release. I said, it's not a quick release. It's got a screw. He went, let me have a look. Ooh, two pound. So I went, go on then. It's bubbling up a bit on the paint, but it says made in England. And I think, um, I think um, uh, Jim's got one of those and I just wanted to be in the club with Jim. So two Stanley knives, three pound. 
of the same guy i said that um was this padlock and it's kind of a big one for these this tinier type of padlocks but it's a kind of a big one it's um about five inches almost four and three quarter inch i said how much your padlock mate he went 20 quid i went how much 20 quid it's it's only because uh, i want it for instagram i just thought it was kind of cool with it being big i said you wouldn't put that on a lockup it did break in in five minutes went, oh it's a good one that it's not chinese crap i went whatever so i went, I went walk around again and then i went back i said are you taking a tenner or not and he's and his wife was like no no it's worth 12 that it's worth 12 i said it ain't worth 12 at all it's a piece of junk so anyway eventually he said all right i'll take a tenner so ten pound i still think i overpaid it's probably worth five quid but anyway i bought it now so it is what it is but i just liked it because of the size i thought the size was kind of cool so that's the reason i bought that um there's some really cool items the guest surprise this week is this axe um and it's it is a braids and that is a very good brand of braids you see braids axe um, and, I, and I had a good haggle on this, but I, st I still paid big money for this. You, so this is going to be the guess the price. We've got a braids axe. Head's a bit loose and a bit cracked. And you can see the wedge. The wedge is kind of an interesting wedge. Um, I'll probably um, take the axe head off it and just use the axe head for pictures on Instagram. I don't think I'm going to keep the handle. Um, but that is the guess the price and you'd be shocked how much i actually ended up paying for that it was but i i went on the that i went to a second car boot and this was the only thing i bought and it was a mud bath and all my shoes are caked in mud the cars caked in mud and i felt like i had to buy something so that's the reason i bought that and anyway i bought it now so it is what it is so that's the guess the price how much did i pay for the braids axe um now i've got to think what my favorite item is um oh it's kind of a close one i think i'm gonna go hmm i think i'm gonna go for this stanley knife a fast trim i kind of like the design and it reminds me of the american ones and um, very very close i'm pretty sure this is a rebanded fuller this fast trim made in england so i really like that i think that's my favorite Um, i think this is probably jim's favorite for a pound Um, so yeah put in the comments which item is your favourite? Um, I think that's my number one. I think that's my number two. Um, and I think... I kind of like that blue handle screwdriver, you know, with the blue. I might polish that. Um, a hilker and polish that hilker off. But I quite like the colour of that. So probably that's my number three. So put in the comments which is your favourite. Uh, thanks for watching if you've got this far. Have a great day. Bye.